Hello Scorpio, how are you? Welcome to my channel, Star 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 and welcome to your reading. So Scorpio, this is your reading uh, for the month of September and this is a general reading. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Energies might be vice versa and time is fluid. Uh, I would appreciate if you would hit like, share and subscribe and comment down below if you find yourself getting resonated with this reading. I would request you to hit that notification bell so that you will be notified whenever I upload the video. There is an extended reading a reading for this one. The link for the same is in description box and comment section. In the extended, we'll see what your person truly thinks and feels about you, what action they will take towards you, what is a likely conclusion between you and this person. Coming back to this reading on YouTube, I will shuffle the cards, I will lay them down, and then we'll see what is your energy, what you need to know for the month of September, what is the energy of the person you're thinking about, you're dealing with, you will be dealing with. Okay, let's get started now. Queen of Wands, Scorpio. I think so that you are trying to test someone. You're going to meet someone and you like that person, but you will take your own time. You will test that person. You've been through too many situations where it's difficult for you to believe anyone right away. Okay, so maybe you want to meet someone you like that person, but your insecurities will kind of suggest to you to test that person before taking a plunge into the situation. So Queen of Wands is telling me that whatever experience you have, uh, you have gathered based on the previous relationships or the kind of life you have led so far, I see that you want to use your experience in this situation where you will try to move forward in a cautious manner okay so that's what i see uh because i see you are prepared for the situation if you are required to show the softer side you will offer a flower if you are required to show a stronger side you will offer a wand or you will you'll will show a wand okay so that's what i see like whatever like based on your own evaluation you will you will make the uh, you will take the uh, you'll conclude that situation accordingly okay so whether the person is nice whether the person is worthy of your time energy whether the person deserves your uh, investment from your end okay so it will be based on whatever evaluation you do about that person how you test that person strength i think so you're supported in whatever you're doing okay only because uh, angels are also fine with you evaluating the person you testing the other person because at the end of the day angels are also kind of uh, kind of feeling slightly sorry for you for the kind of situations you have been through so far looks like you've been through a lot of toxic situations extremely heartbreaking situations And strength is only telling me that angels are giving you the required strength to show. Angels are giving you the required strength and courage wherever it is required. Okay. Page of Swords. Yes, you are certainly interested in someone or you will become interested in someone. Can also be vice versa. Someone is becoming interested in you. But I definitely see a cautious approach over here. Okay, see, talking about caution, we have Seven of Swords over here. See, Seven of Swords is not necessarily always uh, toxicity and uh, someone trying to steal something away from you and manipulation and all that stuff. It can also be like you're moving in silence. Okay, moving in silence. You're making your, you're making, you will be making your moves, but you will make your moves in silence. For some of you, this can also be about career. This can also be about Uh, career, a business that you want to start with someone, uh, maybe you're working, maybe you're working on some sort of project with someone, maybe you're working on some sort of business partnership and you're making some silent moves. There are so many mixed energies, Scorpio, like literally so many mixed energies. Okay. Let's go one by one. So first I see that 
you probably uh, are becoming interested in someone however you are moving very cautiously second possibility i see that you, someone else might be interested in you but again i see a cautious approach from their end as well for others of you i do see that uh, this is a moving in silence situation in, at at workplace maybe okay you're working on something but you're moving very silently because you don't want your work colleagues who are always jealous of you you don't want them to know what you are actually working on but you're preparing something and when you are ready with that then you'll show that to your boss so that the boss actually knows who has really worked upon okay so you're moving in silence there are certain changes that you are working on when it comes to career and workplace let's talk about your love life we have hanged man we have eight of wands and then we have queen of cups Someone is watching you. I'm getting that energy again and again with Page of Swords and Hanged Man. Someone is watching you and this person is certainly desirous of coming towards you with uh, some sort of communication. This person thinks that you have so much to offer but you're always holding yourself back because of the insecurities and the fear that you have when it comes to love and relationships. Okay, And this person wants to be the one to actually help you overcome the fear and insecurities that you have. This person really loves you. They do because they really, really want to help you. This person has noticed that you do have a lot of insecurities and they really want to help you in that area. They want to let you know that love should not be feared. You should not fear love. You should not have fear in your mind about love. Love is something that needs to be cherished. Love is something that needs to be enjoyed. Okay. So they really want to show you what unconditional love is all about, what true love is all about. And they want to be the one to help you in, in this situation. They know that you have so much. They want to help you open up to love and relationships. They want to be the one to receive the love from your end. This person thinks that you are this Pandora's box. They are trying to find the key to that box. Ten of Wands. I think so you're still holding on to some sort of pain when it comes to the previous situations. Okay. Emperor is it's is suggesting that you become strong and you are becoming strong. Okay. Free yourself from some sort of fears and insecurities that you have within you. Angels are there to help you. Okay. If you need the strength, if you need the courage, angels are there to help you. Your spiritual team is there to help you. The zodiac signs which are coming across as very important are Pisces, Cancer, Sagittarius, Leo, Aries, all fire signs. I'm also hearing Libra and Gemini. If the sign pops up, all the better. Let's not remain fixed on the signs. <clears throat> so I'm picking and choosing the cards because YouTube has kind of become very strict with its policies. So I don't want to showcase. I mean, I don't know. I don't know what they really want to see so i'm just being very safe okay i hope this resonates hit like share and subscribe and comment down below the link for the extended is in description box and comment section in the extended we'll see what your person truly thinks and feels about you what action they will take towards you what is the likely conclusion between you and this person all right take care have a great time if you're interested in personal readings the details of the same are in description box and comment section Bye-bye and take care, Scorpio.